Hi folks, Tim here again from High and Chief Tech, and today uh, we're using the Xiaomi Mi A2 to film this on. I film everything on a cell phone camera, but I will be processing said video on the super cool Axon 1. And uh, in PowerLink or PowerDirect or whatever the hell it's called, uh, we're going to do a few. I've been putting this off forever. I hate doing camera stuff. Uh, I shot a couple of videos, some bokeh shots, and some selfies, and regular pictures. Eh. I'll tell you right now, I've shot a lot more regular pictures if you go to Stalin's, S-T-A-L-L-O-N-S, usedcars.com, the last few cars I put up there were shot on the very phone you're looking at. And, wow, they're good. So... The camera is fantastic. We're just going to kind of leave it at that. It's just super duper good. Uh, so by the time you see this, it'll be tomorrow, which means we'll be less than 24 hours away from... Uh, This phone getting Android 10. Android one phone's rule. I mean, try that with your Samsung, ladies and germs. Try that with your OnePlus and your Apple. Oh, well, your Apple. <laughs> so to say. Bottom line. Android One phones are cheaper, better, and just as damn good as any of the overpriced ones. So, uh... We're going to do the uh, camera stuff, and uh, that'll probably be the, include the uh, final review and my thoughts on this. I, I did order a case for it. I'll review that when it gets here. But, I can tell you right now what the final review conclusions are. If you ain't buying this phone, then you got a problem. Buy what you can afford, of course. The link will be in the description below. I'm going to try to work on layers so I can do the little arrow thing and the subscribe thing over in Power Director. But I still really don't have a clue on how to do that. I mean, I've had the program for two days. Let's get right to the intro, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> Folks, we're just checking out as I walk. Now this is uphill, and I get out of breath very quickly, but we're just seeing how we're going to do with the EIS here on the Mi A2. Now, obviously, it's going to be bouncing a little, but let's just do it like this. Mm-hmm. So, hmm. Heh. <laughs> 
Uh, and uh, I'm not going to see much of this, but it should be relatively steady, we hope. I'm going to do a quick walk around of the car here, if I don't fall into the grass. <laughs> this is the center I'm driving, this belongs to my stepmom who can't drive anymore. <laughs> And there's my idiot neighbor's car. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's figure this out. I'm in seven, they're in eight. But yet, they use three quarters of the parking spot because they don't have the brains God gave them or they're rude, crude, or mommy and daddy didn't teach them anything. Now, let's see how much this steadies up. Obviously, I've been letting it bounce quite a bit. Get some Diet Coke there. Let's check it out. Alright, we're walking up to the gas station here. I'm probably bouncing a little. You can bet on it. But that's alright. I'm going to look both ways. And continue on. Uh huh. I don't know why I'm walking. This drive would only take, oh, about 10 seconds. Well, it's okay. I'm gonna have a sunrise here shortly. <coughs> and uh, we're just checking out EIS again. It is naval. We're shooting at 1080p. So. Let's see how this all works out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Watch the bad drivers go by hither, thither, and yon. Probably annoying pedestrians. What's new? Oh. <laughs> Huh? I certainly need my new pacemaker put in. Can't wait till Thursday. Can't wait. But, as you can see, we should be getting pretty good EIS here. So that's all for that. All right, folks, and so ends the camera shots. If you want to see more, check out Red Skull's page or uh, Tech Line, Linus, Tech Line HD. They're all, if you go to my main channel page, oh, the main channel page, yeah. Yeah, just go to the home button at the top, unless you're watching it on a dinky ass smartphone, uh, and you will find uh, all kinds of reviews with all kinds of pictures. I'm not much of a picture taker except at work, where I need to take pictures. I just don't wander around and shoot pictures randomly. I shoot real life pictures that need to be done in real life to inform people of things, to show them something. Just like most of you are going to do if you decide to buy this phone. And it, it does have an excellent camera. The microphone is fantastic. So I'm going to give it a huge thumbs up and say th this phone is worth every penny you'll pay for it. And then some. And you're not going to pay very many pennies. Somewhere in the $150 range. Maybe a little over, a little under. Depending on, you know, look around. I'll give you an Amazon link. That's my affiliate link. Check it out. And, uh, hmm, it's worth 
the brightness changes when I move left or right. Um, just check it out. And uh, the link to the uh, car dealer I work for will be in the description below. And other than that, we're going to finish up processing this on the Axon M. I think I called the Axon 1 at the beginning of the video. I don't know why. I keep calling it the Axon 1, the Axon 11, the Axon 7, everything but Axon M. I really don't understand why well, that's so hard to remember. But it does an exquisite job. It did the first half, everything up to me talking right now, in about four minutes of rendering. So when I put the two together here, it might take eight minutes on my PC here, right in front of me, four feet away. Uh, not even, about three feet away. It would uh, have taken, I don't know, 55 minutes, 60 minutes. And that's a quad core on there. And uh, Snapdragon 821. I'm going to put it on this phone one of these days and try it here. This is an octa-core Snapdragon 660. We'll see. I mean, that quad-core 821 was flagship level in 2017. It's only 2019, folks, so. That might still be more powerful than this phone. Could be. It plays PUBG a little better, I know that. 4 gig of RAM, 4 gig of RAM on here. Buy this phone, get one of those Gnome screen protectors. They're fan freaking fantastic. Uh, and uh, leave your comments below and make sure you subscribe and click the little notification bell. And give us a great big thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you leave a comment and don't click on like or dislike, that makes you one lazy bastard. So, don't be a lazy bastard. Do both. It's not that difficult. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.